How's it going, folks? This is Bissell Tech again, and we are back with Planet Crafters. As you can see, I've just crossed the 100,000, 100k a limit on terraforming, and the planet still looks pretty bad. Got my base all crafted up, got drills doing drill stuff. Explored that uh, ship up there, that wreck up there on the hill. Useful stuff, kind of disappointing though. Seemed to be a lot of it that you just couldn't get into. Maybe they'll change that. So I got my nice little cozy room here with a nice bed just for myself. Got a warm heater thing that's actually part of terraforming somehow. Not sure or what it's doing. Heating things, I guess. Doesn't, don't understand how that'd be efficient. But anyway, yeah. Got my bed. Nice little breakfast nook here. And going outside. Some more crap in here. Got a little beacon. Got my wind farm. Got my solar farm got a communication antenna which actually gave me some clues as to why you are dropped here on this planet with almost nothing here we go get back inside so I can show you the rest of my base so another heater some storage options My plant's making oxygen. I need to find another plant for this guy, but he's currently empty. And a status board showing exactly what I've done to the place. Getting a nice bit of oxygen out in there into the system. And here I am. It actually tells me what my stage I'm in. So I'm about 60% of the way to actually having some sky. I wonder if it'd be interesting if as the atmosphere thickened up a bit, you got more weather effects. But anyway, the reason it turns out that I'm here I did a bad thing. Not sure what that bad thing is, but it was bad enough that they pretty much just dropped me on a planet and called it a day. Any kind, they're like, nope, any, we're not going to assist you, we're not going to care about you. If you don't screw this up, you're free to go. If you do screw it up, well, we're not planning on picking you up after it, as if you screw up. So, that's some incentive here. Man, that looks neat, though. All those plants. So, you get a bunch of interesting screens now in the build menu. Including blueprints, energy levels, and so forth. I've also unlocked a tier 3 drill, what you've seen out there were the tier 2 ones, and the tier 3 tubes, but I can't use them just yet. Why? Aluminum. Aluminum is something that's straight up just not found around here. I found some off in the distance out that way. There's another shipwreck over there. So gonna make sure I'm stocked up on some food some oxygen I'll put you on these and some water oh oh yeah that's uh, something else that happens here on the regular meteor showers
hopefully so I've seen them hit near my wind farm I don't know if they've done actually hit it yet if it came close enough to do damage or if there's even a damage mechanic for buildings kinda hope there is or they'll, that will get added not because I'm a sucker for such things but you know it'd be neat you know you're well on your way to terraforming and then all your progress or your base just gets ruined by a big rock coming down on it they always seem to come from this direction do they drop anything Alright, seems to calm down for now. So you might have noticed that my air is not decreasing nearly as fast as it used to. And that's because I have the Tier 3 Oxygen Tank. I also got picked up these in that ship. Bigger backpack. Need to upgrade this thing at some point. What do I need to upgrade that? Oh, I already have it. Okay. I'm guessing... Aluminum. Yep, aluminum. Make some water while I'm here. Go get some more ice. This guy is looking a little bluer. Can't really remember if that's it was that way before or not so I'm about six hours into the game right now and while well, I referred to it before as a subnautica clone it's a very well done subnautica clone I really don't have anything to complain about as far as the overall concept and execution of the game. Yeah. Am I hoping there's more kind of freeform stuff than in Subnautica where you pretty much build a base to unlock some of the better equipment and to keep place to keep your stuff? And, and that's kind of just it. Are you going to be building multiple bases? Is there going to be multiple worlds that you can do this on? Who knows? I certainly don't. That's all good questions. Like, oh, more dust out over there. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a good game. I'll probably be picking up the full version when it comes out. Some an update on that is it should they're expecting to do their release first quarter of this year. Looking forward to that. Already got it wish listed. Oh, there's a box over there. There's that other ship. We'll just uh, glance by that. Oh good, looks like I can't get over it at this stuff. Oh, there we go. Some space food. To be honest, the rest of that stuff's not that needed anymore. space food. Yeah. 
So to be on it, so for oxygen and water, if you're trying to be frugal, you don't actually need to refill those until it hits the critical mark. And that past that's the point where it's going to start hurting you. Plus, using those canisters of space oxygen and space food. Pretty much refills the entire gate. Sorry, space water and space oxygen. Food does not fill up your gauge completely. It does a pretty good chunk, though. I could use some titanium. One of the convenient things about this game is it's fairly easy to just, th if you need to fill up your air, get more storage. Just hold some stuff. Okay, there's the beacon back there, so I'm going in the right direction. It's actually fairly easy to throw up a prefab base. I'll probably be doing that, so three iron, two titanium, and one silicon. some titanium up there. Grab some more iron for a uh, chest locker or something. place to top off my air so I'm not using t my other two air cans. That looked important. Too bad I can't do anything with it. So yeah, whenever you're out and about exploring, probably best, and you find a location of interest like this, best to set up a little mini base. No. 
and useful. I'm sure. Downstairs. Give me some more air in the breathing tubes. So how's everyone's New Year's going? Good, I hope. Just the right amount of fire. Not too much, not too little. That is the ticket. More cool stuff out there. But that's for later. real keen to test whether or not I got fall damage in this. If you want to know if you got fall dam damage, always assume that you do. And you'll never be proven wrong. So you guys might be wondering why I'm bothering to pick up fabric, of all things. Well, that's because fabric is actually somewhat useful. You don't just magic it out of thin air. You actually have to create it, so to speak. the stuff to create fabric, you're forced to use what people have left behind. Yeah, it's a bit of a drop. I wonder, this looks like it was maybe a prefab of some kind itself. Huh. That is interesting. Yeah, less that this thing was... This is debris from a crash. 
Huh. Maybe there was another attempt at colonizing this place. This guy's starting to look nice and blue, though. So as far as the weather effects go, what do you guys think? I think I'd like perform more extreme weather myself, where you're in legit fear of being outside during these storms. Like you can take damage and whatnot. So would you guys rather whether it be strictly a visual effect or have actual effect on the gameplay itself. So from what I can see, it seems there's a bunch more of this super alloy stuff on these rocks up here. That could be helpful in the future. For now, though, I think I'll head on back to base camp with my ill-gotten gains. See where we go from there. So... Yes, Hydration, I know you're critical. You're critical of all my efforts. By the way, nice little feature. Let you know when you've saved recently. And it's very happy about it. All right. Well, till next time, have a nice day.